Have you ever really wished that you had your own personal Jarvis? An AI that would listen to anything you want to do. An AI that would think what you want to do and then if accordingly make a decision on how to do it. Give you suggestions on how to do it better. Microsoft's Jarvis is here. And this model can plan tasks, select relevant models, execute that task and then generate the response. The paper was released on 2nd April and the model is already available on Hugging Face as Hugging GPT. Let's quickly give this a shot. How this works is you first need your OpenAI API key and second your Hugging Face token in order to use the model. So in order to do that, just go to account API keys in your platform.openai.com, create a new secret key. Copy this and paste it here. Click on submit. It will authorize and generate the key. Next, go to Hugging Faces settings from here. Go to the access tokens. Create a new access token with GPT. You name the access token. You generate the access. You copy this and you paste it here and then authorize it. Takes a few seconds to authorize. But after this is ready, you're all set to use this model. And this is like your own AI personal assistant that can enable you to do whatever you want, right? It can analyze images, it can generate text, it can make edits on the images. Let's try some of these examples, right? Show me a joke and an image of a cat. You send this to the model. Again, it's using your OpenAI and Hugging Face token. So you probably need to be on the OpenAI's paid plan in order to use the model if you've already exhausted your free uh, tokens. So keep that in mind. Does it take some time to generate the output? So you, you can see there's a queue here uh, and it's also showing the estimated time in order to generate. Input is now gone. It's generating the relevant output for this. Remember, time taken is directly proportional to the type of input you've given to the model. So sometimes it may take longer. So yeah, the output is here. Sure, I can do that for your request. I've used two models, Runway ML Stable Diffusion 1.5 and use ChatGPT for jokes. What do cats like to eat before breakfast? Um, there's mice, crisps. Oh, okay. that's not funny, but yeah. Anyway, so this is the image generated and also kind of gave us the joke. Now let's try and break the models. So let's take Take this image. I broke Facebook's Sam model using this image. I try that here too. So apparently it can count the number of things in the image. Try that. To remove everything before JPG. Again, uh, it takes some time to process it because the queue is longer. So how the queue system works is that the first number in the queue, it is only then the processing starts, right? So right now the processing isn't even happening. You are just waiting on the queue for your turn to come before the process. So it's our turn now and it looks like the image, the model was able to get the input correctly. Now it's kind of analyzing, looking at the data of the image. Quick note, it can also generate video and audio for you, right? So if you didn't know that, just a heads up, that's also something it could. After this, let's also try that. No wonder it's taking so long to process. If you give me an entire day, I still wouldn't be able to give you the accurate number of people on this or image. Also, it's very possible that at this point, the model has broken. It was clearly our purpose, at least with this image. Based on the inference, I can I can answer your request. There are nine people in the image, which is not correct. To explain my workflow, I use the text to image to text model to generate a people with many train on it from the image. Then I use the object detection model from Facebook to detect nine people in the image. Can you use the visual question answering the model dandelion? Can you answer the number of no generated files or mail? Okay, so obviously it's not doing too well on this image and I don't think any model in the near future would. Be. So it also apparently since it generates audio and video files, let's also give that a shot. Apparently there was an error, so I'm restarting. Again, this is very, very early stage and the processing itself is taking long. The reason why the process takes so long is because it's using multiple models in the background depending on the request that you send to the model. So if you look at the paper, right, what it basically currently does is that it kind of plans the task, it selects the relevant model, executes the task with that model and then generates the response, which is why it takes so long to process. And apparently looks like it's not working anymore when I refresh it real quick. So apparently the model crashed and I'm restarting the model with one of the samples here. Uh, I don't know if this crash is a general crash or if this crashed for everyone, right? I think in general, the model, while we do this, in order to stay up to date with everything in generative AI, please join our Discord. And don't forget to obviously subscribe. The input is now gone to the model, right? Let's just wait for a few seconds before it can generate the... We'll also use one more example from here to see how it works. Again, this is very, very, very early stage. It's very likely that things you're sending to the model may fail. 
Okay, so I don't think it worked. I understand the request based on I cannot generate the workflow. Is I use the model to convert the image into JPG generated text to video, text to speech model, but there are no available models for these stuff. Never mind. So I've used a different prompt where I tell the model to generate based on the poses of this and content of this. Show me a new image, right? So I think it should be a there should be a kid who's tossing the ball into the so there you go. There is definitely a kid trying to throw something in the basket, but don't really think it's that. Point. Anyways, this is very, very, very early stage uh, for hugging GPT or Jarvis, but early work towards autonomous AI has already begun and we're really excited to see where it goes. From. So, and that is pretty much it for the video. I'll see you guys. In